Hey, what's up, y'all? So I've been watching the news and I've been watching the posts and I've been watching how a lot of politicians have been slanting their message. And I saw it at the George Floyd funeral in Texas and it, it looked like the Democratic Convention, right? And I, I just want us to be careful and be very leery that they don't turn this movement into if Trump gets voted out of office, that's a victory. I just want to be very clear. Trump has been in office for four years. America has been oppressed for over 400 years. Donald Trump is simply just taking advantages of the opportunities and advantages that America has afforded him. Okay? And, and with that being said, the Democratic Party wants us to believe that Donald Trump is 50% of the problem. <laughs> you know, we got accountability, we got all this. But they want us to believe that because what's going on is he's half the problem. No, he's just, he's just a living testimony of what America breeds if we don't stand front line and fight for what we already earned you know and i just want to be clear uh, um i just want to give some examples of this maxine waters diane feinstein joe biden they've been in office they've been in politics since the 70s they've had they've held political offices since the 70s they have average over 40 years of political experience and that's the democratic party right Donald Trump, four years. Now, the ignorant motherfuckers going to say, oh, are you advocating for Trump? I'm not advocating. I'm not voting for neither of them motherfuckers. I'm just telling y'all, if y'all, if we hand over this power to the Democratic Party, you know what they're going to say? It's all going to be better after we get Trump out of office. And you know what happens when they get Trump out of office? Guess what? The fulcrum slants towards them. So that means they get reelected. And what that means, they get the benefits of, uh, of holding political office. Politicians get right, white privilege. Don't be mistaken. Politicians and the lineages of their family are receiving benefits that white privilege receives. Okay? Whether it's through uh, lobbying and uh, getting uh, private benefits and stuff like that. But I just want us to be diligent and really, really be cognizant. This this ain't about Donald Trump. Police brutality is and was before Donald Trump. Racism is and was before Donald Trump. OK, systemic oppression is and was before Donald Trump. OK. Financial inequalities is and was before Donald Trump. OK, it's just 2020. It just so happened to erupt during this time. Now, because Donald Trump has been consistently over the past four years throwing it in our face, we call it a perfect storm. I just want us to know Donald Trump, Donald Trump is just simply a result of 400 years of oppression. I uh, want us to be more forward thinking along with marching, along with thinking outside the box, along with. Uh, meeting with your politicians and policemen and asking them to kneel. All that stuff is symbolic and cute. But what we need to do is tear up that constitution. If we can tear up that constitution, we got a chance. All right. And whether it's it starts with your uh, local. You, you know, what I mean, uh, state, federal, we have to work all angles. You know, but don't ever forget politicians and policemen are not your allies right now. If they were your allies, they wouldn't come into work. If they were your allies, we wouldn't have had this problem for over 400 years. Think about it. All right. So be cognizant, knowing that you're still dealing with the devil. All right. And when you're making deals with the devil, you don't stop the devil before you get to the table and be like, hey, I know we're about to go to war. But uh, these are the rules of engagement. The devil will look at you like rules of engagement. Yeah, OK, we'll smile and, and we'll abide by that rules. And then you know what they do. 
they turn native blacks into African Americans. <laughs> they steal the land from the black people and then tell you that you're visiting, that you came from Africa. How can millions of slaves get on ships from Africa? It's logically impossible. Logistically, that can't happen in that time. In the 1400s, 1300s, 1500s, how can a slave, how can a slave ship hold millions of people? And travel time. But y'all keep on believing it. Black Americans in America. We are native blacks. Don't ever fucking forget that. Okay? And because we're native blacks, guess what? We are the original people here in America. We deserve our land. We deserve our reparations. Okay? Don't ever forget that. And don't put nothing before that. Okay? Do not put anything because the moment you put your job title, the money that you have in your bank account, the status you have in your neighborhood before that. The world going to find a way to humble you. All right. So let's stay the course, stay vigilant, stay diligent, stay determined, stay fearless. And I really believe that we can do this you know um marching involves the macro right creating sub cells of the marching that creates diligence that creates a lot of intellect a lot of fortitude a lot of toughness and all that's gonna come to fruition you understand but don't ever ever forget that racism was before donald trump all right He's receiving the benefits of racism. Don't ever forget that. All right. It's, it's a difference. And uh, the Democratic Party are not our allies. Tell your grandma to vote in silence. Tell your auntie to vote in silence. Democrats are not our allies right now. If Democrats was our allies, what we get? Uh, uh, what's the most populous state cities in America? Los Angeles and New York, right? We would dominate the world. But it doesn't happen. All right. Per square mile, New York has the most people in the world per square mile. Don't mean much. As it pertains to power in America. So I just want you guys to understand, don't let the Democratic Party slant this fight into getting Trump out of office is a victory. No, it's a victory for them. They get to be speaker of the house. They get to be. The dominant power, they get the veto and whatever they do back on Capitol Hill, whatever they do. All right. And lastly, don't ever forget. Blacks are native. All right. You're a native black. Don't let them fool you. All right. And don't ever forget. There are no rules to this. All right. When we're going to war, there's no rules. All right. Stop asking for them to fight fair. And stop thinking you have to fight fair. All right. All the house Negroes like Fred, you talking too much. All the house Negroes that's comfortable living in America like Fred, shut up. How dare you? You know. Anyhow, man, keep fighting. Happy Sunday. Um, I just hope we I, I just don't want us having another hashtag, man. That I'm, I'm going to tell you all for real, for real, for real. Me standing beside that tree where that black man was hung changed my life forever changed me forever i will never ever forget that feeling that ran through my body never in my life will i ever forget that i love y'all have a great sunday and um yeah don't forget it's not about trump y'all it's about that constitution we got to tear that shit up all right i love y'all we go peace